Malika Anna. State your full name and correct spelling for the record, please. Malika Anna. M E L I K A. Last name is Anna. H O N O R E. Miss Anna. When were you born? August 25th, 1978. Where were you raised? Seven Wall, Mid City. Tell us about your schooling. From when? Where did you go to high school? Warren Easton. Did you graduate Warren Easton? I did. Any post high school education? Yes, I attended Xavier University. I attended Hurston and Newnans Community College. After your schooling, you mass in Amherst? I'm sorry? You mass in Amherst, Massachusetts? No, Newnans Community College. Oh, Nunes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. After finishing your schooling, did you become employed? I did. While in school, I was employed as well. What was your first job? Planning Hollywood. Doing what? Retail. How long were you there? About a year. After that, where did you go? House of Blues for 10 years. That would be what period of time? 1998 to 2008. What was your position there? I started off in retail and then I became the training coordinator and then a human resources assistant. After, in 2008, did you become an entrepreneur or did you have a business that you started? Right after Katrina, we were blessed to find a business for sale on Craigslist. It was a daycare center. I didn't ask you, but that would have been sometime in 2006? Yes. What kind of business was it? A childcare facility. Where was it originally located? Originally, the first childcare facility was on Haynes in New Orleans East. What age children? Six weeks up to 12 years old. How many hours a day was it open? 24 hours. Approximately, how many children were there under your care during that period? I didn't mean under your care exclusively, but in the daycare. At the first facility? Yes. About 50 kids. Did you move from Hain Boulevard someplace? We did, and then we moved to 1400 Frenchman Street. About how many years were you there? About three. Did you leave Frenchman and open another daycare? I expanded, and so we got a second daycare center. Which was where? 2519 Bayou Road. When you said you expanded, the Frenchman Street operation stayed in existence? Correct. You opened a second location? A second location, yes. Did you ever open another location or move to another location? We expanded again and opened up another center on Beanville Street. Right now, or let's just say, well, let me withdraw that. You have still those two locations? We closed down 1400 Frenchman Street. What exists now? And each one of those, they are 24-hour daycare centers. The one on Bayou Road is 24 hours. The other one, it's open from 6.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Are you an on-site director of the daycare centers? Correct. Approximately how many children attend those daycare centers? Between both centers, it's about 160 kids. How many teachers or healthcare professionals do you have working there? About 26. I didn't ask you. I just want to find out something about your relatives. Your mother's name is what? Who is Rain Jackson? Kevin's cousin. You have a sister by the name of... Correct. I didn't ask you, but I gather you. Do you know Kevin Jackson? I do. How are you related? Common law husband. My soulmate. 
Where did you meet him? House of Blues. I want to ask you a little bit about what draw that. You met him in House of Blues in what year? 2004. Shortly after you met him, was his probation revoked for a period of time? It was. He was not living with you at that point, correct? No. Did there come a time when you and he, while he was in prison, agreed to live together as man and wife? About a month before he was released. He was released, we understand, in July of 2005? Correct. Excuse me. Yes, 2005. 2005. So then in June, correct, you would have made that commitment? Correct. As I understand it from what we have heard here, he returned from his incarceration in mid-July of 2005. I'm sorry, say that one more time. He returned from his judge. I just object to the leading nature of the questions. Sustain. How long before Katrina did he return to you? I'm not understanding. One more time. When before Katrina did y'all get back together? Before Katrina, as soon as he was released, we were together. Which was July of 2005. So that was a month before Katrina? Correct. Half month, right? Yeah, August 28 or something like that. Shortly before Katrina? Correct. Did you and he and the children evacuate? There were no children at the time. Good point. Did you and he evacuate? Yes, we did. Where did you evacuate to? First, we went to Mississippi running from the storm. Then it came to Mississippi, so we went to Texas. Do you recall approximately when you returned to New Orleans full time? Full time, New Orleans, October, I would say 2006, that I recall. Is that when you began the business you described? Correct. Directing your attention to Kevin, after Katrina, did there come a point in time or do you know whether he worked for a company called ARC Global? Yes, he did. Did he then work together with his nephews in a scrap collection business? Yes, he did. After that, did he ever open a sweet shop? Yes, he did. Where was that? 1401 St. Bernard Avenue. Let me show you a picture, which I have marked as the fence exhibit. Let me show you this. Is this the sweet shop you just described? Yes. That's the fence exhibit 14. I would all fit into evidence, Your Honor. So ordered. Initially. When he purchased or opened, leased a sweet shop, what was intended? Originally, it was intended to be a daiquiri shop. Did it ever become a daiquiri shop? One of our first things we learned in business is you check with zoning first. What was the problem? It wasn't zoned for a daiquiri shop. How long did that sweet shop remain operational? About a year. Who ran it? Kevin. During that period of time, you were working at the daycare center? Yeah, it was a couple of blocks, actually, from the sweet shop. 